search as a philosopher. It takes time to find your place in the world. Do what you must. Perhaps you are the philosopher, Mystios. I will leave the city in wonder. I must send a message, tell someone I am leaving. But to who? To my old commander or to my truest friend, a merchant? So you want me to bring this to the merchant? That's exactly it. Will you do it? I'll help you. You'll be just what I need. I should get going. Let's go!
delivery for you. Thank you, Mistios. Please, take this. Here, a friend. Anything a mercenary can do for you? Mistheus, hear me, I've seen it. The fall of Athens as we know it. You've seen what? The flower that withers under the loving gaze of the sun. A great sickness is on the horizon. Despair will consume Athens. That was some, um, beautiful poetry. It wasn't poetry. This is real danger I'm talking about, and I need you to do something about it. What do you want? Great warrior, you have arrived at just the right time. To save the city from despair, deliver this single wilted flower. Only then will he know of the storm headed our way. So you need me to deliver it? Yes, it needs to get there in one piece. All right, I'm in. I'm putting my trust in you, mercenary. May the fates be on your side. Let's go, Phobos. Delivery for you. Oh, thank you, Mistios. Take this for your trouble.
Cassandra, it's you. Phoebe. You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have. I also said stay out of trouble. Which I have. Okay, almost out of trouble. How did you even get here, Fee? Some draft me working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe. I needed a draft me for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I... I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you... hear you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry, you've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Here, Cassandra. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! 
Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every Pides. <laughs> I've heard of Sophocles. In my line of richest and most famous men are... Hermippos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachos. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This is going to be a long night. Party should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with Euripides. Sir, 
spare me. I'm only looking for clues to help me find a Spartan woman. Hmm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. You want to get Evripides drunk? Are you hoping he's gonna make an even bigger scene than you did? Ha! We both know that's not possible. But you're a feisty one, to say the least. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You'll need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every piece is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I'm the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every piece, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every piece. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every piece and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. A new face in Pericles' abode! Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the Orange Ape. Tell me, what does it think? I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. Much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? When I need to relax, I start a fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm Pericles' new servant. I'd be happy to bring some wine. An Athenian servant, you. And these are wine-pouring muscles. I was a rower on Pericles' ship where he took pity on me. Now I pour wine for people who question my word. And his. I, I wasn't questioning, I... Perhaps one drink. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breeding, and vulgar manners. Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? I'll return. And when I do, you two will drink up. Ah. 
say for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want... It wouldn't be a pop. How's every pedis? You're awfully... I'm never just anything for... I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice... It wouldn't be a pop. It's come back for more. Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I call it the flapping bladder. <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't. Let's conjure Dionysos, shall we? This... this is pure swill. Amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! Ready for more? Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piece. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. You ready for another? Wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every pedis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to Lys to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Uh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? He this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Someone's being hurt. Open this door or I'll kick it in! Oh, 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 oh don't mind her. She likes to watch. Ooh. 
Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> these women grieved for their sons. And these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. The Adera. I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force, and the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. We meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start.